So my students and I study the biology of marine invertebrate larvae. Um, so marine invertebrates are animals that don't have backbones that live in the ocean, and we study their larval stages. The primary benefit from my lab's perspective is that we'll understand a lot more about the ecology and evolution of these animals. But there are more practical benefits that others might care about more. So for example, many of the animals that we're talking about are animals that humans interact with in either positive ways or negative ways. So one example of a positive way is that many of these animals that we're talking about are actually important fisheries species, both recreationally and commercially. So for example, sea urchins and sea cucumbers form the basis of important fisheries off the California coast. And those both have larval stages. So if we know something about how those larvae survive and how they disperse, we can make some predictions about how the fisheries will perform in future years when those grow up to be adults. In contrast to that, there are lots of these species that humans find nuisances or otherwise cause problems for, for humans. So for example, after a certain period of time, which can be pretty rapid, a few weeks or months, the outside of the boat, the bottom of the boat that's in the water, can get covered with worms and barnacles and all kinds of other things. And boat owners have to spend a lot of time or money scraping those animals off the sides of their boat. Another example is invasive species. It's really important to know something about how long the larvae are up in the water column so that we can make predictions about where they will disperse to next, and then we can focus our monitoring efforts on those places. Cal State Long Beach is a great place to do this kind of work, mostly because we're right next to the ocean. So it's really easy for us to go out and collect natural seawater, adults of a huge diversity of animal species that, whose larvae we can work on, or even to go out and tow a plankton net behind a boat and collect larvae that way.